Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 15. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about else statements. So hopefully by now you guys are used to the idea of an if statement and we know that we can use these uh, comparison operators to compare for different values and check uh, for different conditions. We also know that we can use logical operators to uh, check for multiple conditions. Okay. And uh, most of all, we know that an if statement will only run the code inside of it as long as these conditions evaluate to true. So if these conditions do not evaluate to true, this code is skipped. Okay. But there are some times where we are going to want to actually run some code even if these conditions are false. Okay, so let's actually get rid of all of this. And I actually want to come, uh, I want to declare a new variable called number, and we can set that equal to negative one. So now let's actually make a program to check whether the number that we have picked for our variable is positive or negative okay and we can do that by checking if the number is greater than zero because obviously all numbers greater than zero are positive uh, so let's go ahead and say if number greater than zero then we'll go ahead and do this okay so let's just echo out something so we'll echo the variable number so this is actually going to print out the variable one or the whatever whatever our variable was set to okay uh, is positive okay so this code will only run sorry <laughs> this code will only run if our variable number is greater than zero but right now our variable is actually negative one so what we need to do now is add an else statement to just run a bit of code no matter what uh, happens. If, if as long as this condition is not met, our else statement will run. Okay. So the way we do that is by typing else and I'm actually going to start that on a new line. And then we uh, obviously put in the curly braces again. And now whatever code we put inside this else statement will be executed if this condition is false. Okay, so let's echo out um, the variable uh, number. Oops, I accidentally hit caps lock. Uh, is negative. Okay. So this is interesting because if we read through this now, we're checking is number greater than zero? Well, if it is, let's go ahead and print out the variable number is positive. Okay, but for all other possible um, situations, so if number is not greater than zero, basically, or so if, uh, if it's less than zero, if it's zero or something, we'll just print out the number is negative. Okay. So let's go back to Firefox now and click refresh. And as you can see, it says the variable negative one is, or yeah, is negative. Okay. And obviously that happened because negative one is not greater than zero. So let's go ahead and put in something like 10. Now 10 is greater than zero. So obviously the code inside our if statement will run. Okay, so the variable 10 is positive. But now what happens if we change this to just zero? So we've got number is zero. Okay, well, Logically, this seems to work because if number is greater than zero, uh, we'll print this out. But 
zero is not greater than zero. So we're actually going to print out the variable number is negative. Uh, so if we go back and click refresh, the variable zero is negative. But zero actually isn't a negative number. So we need to go about fixing this somehow because uh, we need to actually check for two different conditions now because now we need to check well if it's the if number is greater than zero uh, we'll print out it's positive but we also need to be able to check if number is zero uh, because then we need to handle this completely differently and uh, that's what we're gonna do in the next tutorial so don't forget to subscribe please Feel free to leave a comment, like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys in the next one.